Hi, I'm Mike McClellan, driver of the Canadian Energy Optima Batteries Formula One boat, coming to you from beautiful, sunny Kelowna, the intergalactic headquarters for McClellan F1. Um, want to do a follow-up on the uh, Canadian Energy Bluetooth battery monitor that we did um, back at the Vernon Boat Show. Um, in that one, we installed a couple of the Bluetooth monitors in the boat and showed how easy it was to install. Today what I want to talk about a little bit is the app, what the app does, and um, just kind of what you can get out of it. Because if you've got anything with a battery in it, you need one of these things because it makes taking care of your battery and understand what it's doing so much easier. So this is my Honda ST1300, which um, I enjoy riding around the area here. And you can see right here, this is where I've... Um, where I've put the, the monitor, it's just stuck in there. I've, I've undone, undid it zip tie so that I could get it out and, and, uh, and pull it out so that you could see it, but it, it zip ties right in there and is nice and solid and it's hooked up to the battery and that's, that's, all, that's all good right in there. So what you do with, with it is, let's actually go around this way. I'm doing this on the fly. What you can do with it, you can see here, I've got the, um, the app open and uh, it's right now it's hooked up to, to, you can see here it says 26 Alpha, that's where I've renamed um, the, the particular device that we're looking at and that is actually the um, battery, that the main battery on the boat, see it's searching Bluetooth devices. 26 Bravo, that's the second battery on the boat, and ST1300, that's the bike. So it's, see it's connected, it's synchronizing data. You can see up at the top here where it says ST1300, we've got 99% in the battery, the battery's okay. That's showing my cranking voltage is good. We've got uh, 10.32 volts in there, you can see in the graph there what it's got there, what it's what it's been doing there. Uh, charging voltage at idle speed, 13.99. Charging voltage at, at high RPM, 14.05. And there's a standard range in there. And uh, it shows you kind of what's going on. Um, you've also got different trips. Um, you can see that uh, well, here at 12.57, I did a 34 minute trip there. and. Um, you can you can pull the data from that as well so um, that's a quick look at the app and what it does and and the information that you can get for it now whether you have an ATV a motorcycle a boat truck van car whatever you can hook one of these Bluetooth battery monitors up to it and it uh, it just transmits the data and you can you can sync up to it and grab it whenever you want um, it's for me on, on the bike you can't see it under all the covers and everything else like that but of course it's got a Canadian energy battery in it and uh, I can monitor its its health with the uh, app and see um, you know if there's and not so much just the battery but I can also see if the um, charging system on the bike is starting to act up and cause problems and exactly what's going on there the boat We've got two of those in the boat, and that's always been a concern for us, which is how we got hooked up in Canadian Energy in the first place. It's because we were having problems with our batteries constantly. Now, with the two Canadian Energy battery, Bluetooth battery monitors in the boat, the crew can look on their phone and see what the battery is doing before we even get back to the before we even get back to the dock and decide whether we need to put the batteries on the chargers or anything else like that. So, whether you got a motorcycle. ATV, boat, truck, camper, van, whatever. Um, if you got a battery in it to start it, you can have one of these Canadian Energy Bluetooth monitors um, in it so that you can check on your battery health on a constant basis. For Canadian Energy and Optima Batteries, I'm Mike McClellan, driver of the Canadian Energy Optima Batteries race boat, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Bye for now.